Hey, what's up everybody? It's Mr. Always Fishing here. Today's video is going to be on the Alberto knot. I like to tie this knot because it's easy and it's really strong. So if you don't know, the Alberto knot is a knot that I like to tie to tie my main line to my leader, whether it be mono or floral. I'd rather tie that knot than any other knot. You know, the FG knot's too hard for me. I like to keep things simple. Keep it simple, stupid. That's me all the way. And I like to fish. So less time I'm tying knots, the more time I can fish. And I wanted to share this with you guys in case you didn't know this knot. So stay tuned, here it is right here. Okay, before we get started on the actual knot, I wanna show you guys a trick. And this is a trick I learned from BLAT. And here's what he does to measure his leader line. And I find it to be really helpful, so I'm gonna show you guys that as well. So to measure it, all he does is one, one whole arm length, he comes back. And then he does two, that's it. And I don't have scissors with me today, so here it is gonna be a little bite bite. So there it is. This is the perfect amount of leader line every time. All right, so today I'm gonna be using 15 pound test braid and it's strike team torque tor grade uh, braid, but it doesn't matter what braid you use, as long as it's braid and you're tying it to either monofilament or floral. So what I like to do is get my monofilament, I make a bunny ear in it and crimping the bunny ears really works well and it makes it a lot easier so i do the bunny ears hold it like that i come up from up top through the top of the bunny ear first with my braid and i make sure i got a decent amount on there just so i don't play myself short boom that's the first step and then i come here and i grab grab that there grab the end of the bunny ear then I'm just going to simply wrap this braid around my, my monofilament 10 times though. And I like to make sure my wraps are, you know, not messy, keeping it even because it makes the knot come, come out very good at the end of it. So lost tracks. So we're going to say that's five. Sorry, it's a windy day but this is still easier than tying the FG knot. <laughs> For me it is at least. Let's say, let's say that's eight, nine, 10. Okay, so once you got 10 going that way, you want to reverse, grab that from here and just repeat the process the other way. So 10 the other way. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, ten. Okay, so I came from the top of the bunny ear first, so now I'm gonna come from the bottom of it. And I'm going to do that. And once you got it like that, you can just cinch that baby down. And boom, that is the knot right there. I don't know if you can see it. Let's see if I can get it to focus on that. That is a smooth knot. And I like to double check and make sure that everything's good on it just by pulling on each tag in. So my monofilament tag in will get pulled real tight. And I'll pull my braid tag in tight, and then I'll just pull, pull everything together, and boom, there it is. Now let me bite this and show you the finished product. And there we go. Tag ends are clipped, and once you clip the tag ends, she's ready to go. This knot holds up extremely well. I mean, it ain't never failed me yet. And I use it with mono and floral. I haven't seen a difference. I originally seen this on floral only, but I've been fishing mono leader line for like the past three weeks now and I haven't seen a single problem with it. So yeah, that's the easiest knot you can tie on the go and it's easier than FG knot. Peace. <laughs> 